I hate gig work but i also love it but i hate it if you guys do instacart doordash spark any of the apps you guys probably know what i mean because yes it's amazing there's a lot of money to be made you get to work your own hours but it also sucks today i was doing walmart spark and i took a very nice 28 dollar two mile order and it, it made me feel really nice i was happy i was just watching some youtube while i was getting ready and then all of a sudden i got this alert that I can't show you because I clicked on the notification, now it's gone forever. But it said I canceled an order. Now it was a two customer order and apparently one of them got canceled. I wasn't on the app, it just canceled itself. In reality, Walmart or the customer decided to the take it back. So I click on my order that used to be a $28 order and now it's a $13 order. That's a pretty big difference. So for $13 on a Sunday, I was like, I'm not, I'm not gonna wait 20, 30 minutes for this to be ready. I just canceled it and moved on to the next order. My next order was another $28 order. Apparently it was the same exact one, but whenever I took it and then went to the actual payout, it said $13 again. It was glitched, so I canceled it for my second time. And yes, it wasn't the smartest move for me to take it again. I should have looked at it closer, but I was just in a frantic rush to make some money. So anyways, after I canceled it again, here's a, a quick little recording of what was going on. Basically, if you clicked on the order, it would go from $28 to $13. Now, the scary part is you could click accept from that $28 screen and you could click on the $28 screen and see the details and then actually see it only paid $13, but the fact that you can accept an order where the total payout is right above it and that total payout is about $15 too high, that is deception. The reason I'm upset is purely because of that, because if someone else took that order, they would have only been paid $13 most likely, but something was going on and it was very deceptive and I don't think they were doing that on purpose, but the app is buggy. Walmart Spark is a very, very buggy app. It also is one of the highest paying apps for the least amount of work, but it's also the buggiest of all the apps. So yeah, I decided to completely ditch Spark today and I moved on to an Instacart order. This Instacart order was $50. I was very happy. Again, I was like, okay, whatever. I, I didn't get that 28, but I got this 50. That's even better. Or so I thought. As Soon as I took it, I got a message from my customer telling me that this order was placed 30 minutes ago. Keep in mind, I took this order one minute ago. So I let the customer know and uh, they, they sent me some messages. I'll throw some stuff here. At one point they told me that if I delivered out of order and I delivered to them first, that they would give me a higher tip and a good rating. Don't fall for that crap because every single person I've ever had that told me that they would increase their tip, they did not. I would go to their house, I would deliver, they wouldn't come out they would not give me a cash tip and they would not increase the tip on the app. So I was annoyed with this customer, but I was just gonna shop this three person order anyways, because I needed the money, I was already behind. They had instructions on every single item, which can be nice, but also tells you that they do not trust you whatsoever to make replacements. So I suggested a possible replacement with the exact item, just in a bigger quantity. And they said, no, in all caps. So at that moment, I was like, all right, you're being a little too sassy. I'm just going to remove you from my order. If you guys didn't know, you guys could talk to customer support. They would remove one of your customers without taking away the entire order. While I was doing that, the entire order disappeared. And apparently it's because this crazy lady called support herself and then decided to cancel the order. And that agent that she was talking to removed the entire batch from me. That was $50. I already had a half full cart for another customer and everything got removed while I was talking to the shopper support. So they had two support agents at the same time working on this order and one of them was trying to remove just the crazy lady and then the other one just removed the entire order, completely screwing me in the process. So if I wasn't on the phone with my support agent lady, then I would have been paid $0 for beginning the shop. But luckily she was nice enough to give me the batch pay so minus all the tips, I got paid a whopping $13 to shop for a crap ton of items that I also had to put back. So yeah, this is why I hate gig work. It's just one of those days when it's really busy out there, you deal with some interesting customers. And I know there's probably already people that left comments like, why don't you just get a real job? And it's because I love gig work, but I hate it, you know? Anyways, guys, I am sorry for the rant. Today was a rough one and I appreciate being able to talk to you guys and hear your opinions on these things, which is why I recorded this video. I'm sure you guys have some interesting stories. Leave them in the comment section down below. Anyways, I'll see you guys on the next video.